Hi guys, it's Marlena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are building something very exciting. As you can tell, we are building this flower house. The tour is going to be at the end of this video. So make sure to let me know how you think I did on this build and how you like the house. As always, feel free to build along. So let's get started on this house. Okay, so this is our layout. You don't have to place the layout, just place the walls where the layout is. So we're gonna do that right now. If you were wondering, I do use the play markings to make my layouts, but, but you don't have to include them. So we're going to color this wall pink and then the interior wall color is going to be pink as well. So place it around this petal, this petal section thing. And then we're going to place the same wall over here. So pink all around. And then this petal is going to be pink as well. And the rest of the petals are going to be yellow. So right here, place a wall and recolor it buttermilk. And then we're going to do the same buttermilk for the interior walls. And then we're just going to place it everywhere else. So right here, but you can recolor this wall to buttermilk and then recolor this one to buttermilk and this one so it looks better. And then you can just copy this wall, place it on this petal, recolor this wall buttermilk and then this wall buttermilk and then copy this over here and make another yellow petal and then recolor this to buttermilk and this one. So here's our flower layout. Very nice. Some yellow, some pink. I like those colors a lot so I thought that would be a nice mix for like a flower. Now I'm going to place a floor down here. This will be our walkway. I'm going to make it look kind of like a stem, you know? Um, we're going to color it, I think. We're going to use grime. And I mean, we could use concrete probably with it. So <laughs> we'll see how that looks. Then we're going to grab a fence and we're going to use the plain shirt fence. Place it here. We're going to recolor it just grime and then place it over here. So it looks like that. Now we're going to go to garden and we're going to grab these stepping stones. Just place a few and we're going to recolor them grime with this grass material so it matches our grass is that the same color i think it is place like three of them right there so it's kind of like a little pathway you know now we're gonna go back to garden and we're gonna grab these stepping stones right over here and we're gonna place a few in this specific order we're gonna recolor it grime right here and then we're just going to place them some sort of design so it looks like a part of like the leaf from the stem you know I'm trying to do that so try to make it like pointy over here and then just connect it back to the stem like this okay so it should look something like this <laughs> i had it so much better the first time i made the layout but it's all right okay so we're pretty much set right now oh we should place a roof though before i forget to do that let's place a roof so we're just going to use like the flat roof and basically just place it in each petal you know each room whatever so this is going to be colored i suppose we just color it like pink like what we were doing and then the ceiling could probably be like okay i'm gonna color the roof sage green for now i'm not sure if that's what we're gonna go with but for now we'll do that so color the pink roof so copy the pink roof and place it in each pink room okay it's like a tongue twister and then just place a yellow roof with buttermilk in the center and then place it over here on those petals oh gosh that kind of hurts my eyes okay i think i'm gonna recolor this the center part like a uh, brown maybe so it looks like flower i think we should add some detail to the roof maybe we add like foil oh that looks kind of cool the foil texture that looks kind of nice i might color these yellows like a brick yellow instead just so they're not as bright that kind of looks cool maybe i can't decide between pine cone brown or linen i think linen matches like the light pastel colors more so i think we're we're gonna leave it like that so that's it for the roof it looks like a sparkly flower i love that now we're just going to decorate a bit outside like some landscape we're gonna plant some flowers okay honestly that like speaks for itself flowers in a flower house i think that really is self-explanatory i'm coloring the grass grime we're definitely gonna add some wildflowers around so just place those wherever you like i'm gonna go with like the buttermilk and i'm definitely adding some sunflowers i mean look at my outfit sunflower so we definitely have to place some sunflowers around yeah go ahead and just plant some flowers wherever you like use some flower bushes you know whatever you'd like to do or if you'd like to save money you don't have to plant a ton do whatever you like i really hope we get some new flowers i say this all the time i really want some new flowers and like upcoming summer spring whatever vlogsburg update that we get i hope we get like rose bushes or something that would be cool it's almost spring it's almost summer i can't wait i am all ready for summer like yeah i'm excited to finally be making summer builds once again okay so that's it we just added some few flowers and plants nothing too crazy so we're gonna work on the interior right now this will be fun so we're gonna place the floor first i think we're gonna color it 
pine cone. Not too sure. I do think that would look cool. So it looks like the center of a flower. So just place the floor around and then we will color. So I'm thinking maybe pine cone and I think I'm gonna use these horizontal planks. So also fix these corners. There's a way that you can fix them so that they're not like weird <laughs> like this and like on a weird like angle, but I'm not gonna do that now. All right, here's our floor. Okay guys, so I'm very indecisive and I decided that I think I'm gonna use linen instead just because it matches with the light colors and the roof more. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go place the door before I like change anything else so i'm thinking maybe this like fine french door this feels like a spring door how can a door be spring um you know what i don't even know let's just use it i like it so i think we're just gonna color the door linen so here is the main floor room thing i actually have not thought this far um okay so i think this is gonna be the kitchen uh this is gonna be the living room so these are gonna be like bedrooms and bathrooms. So we're gonna start off by, I guess, placing the doors just so that we know where we're going later on. I'm just gonna copy the same French door and we're just gonna place it basically in each of these corners. And then over here, I'm just gonna leave like an opening because this will be the kitchen. Just do that and then I'll color it. I think I'm gonna place like a sofa over here and i'll recolor it of course so i think i'll do pink and then we'll do some like yellow and maybe like some green outlining it would that look weird i don't know if that looks really weird or not let's place a fireplace we're gonna add a fireplace in a flower home so let's do this one this simple fireplace very nice so you get some light in here we're gonna use a yellow light because i love yellow lights and we're just gonna color it a bit to make it match so now we're gonna grab a tv we'll use this like flat screen tv right here so I also want to get some lights in here. Maybe we'll use these like heart string lights. You definitely don't need these. The fireplace is bright enough, but I just like these. So we're going to use some yellow and then maybe like some pink. We're going to move the couch up a bit because this is like a little too far. And then I think I'm going to place like a bookshelf or something back here. So let's use this uh, traditional bookshelf. Okay, we're going to try to color it green with like the yellow walls. Don't know how that's going to look but we're gonna try it. We're just trying something new here. We're gonna use our yellow, we'll use our pink, we'll use the green, and then we'll use some like seashell. Just place some books around. You can even change up the colors if you want, like replace seashell with like an orange yellow. We also are going to place a bunch of plants, of course, like this cactus. And we can even just like place some wildflowers around, like wildflowers growing from the bookshelf. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, this looks like the mushroom from Breath of the Wild. This really does. <laughs> I never realized how similar the two were. That is that is crazy. I've been playing Breath of the Wild every night for like five hours straight until four in the morning. So I haven't really been getting any sleep, but it's okay. We're also gonna grab a candle just for some like extra light. We'll get this yellow light again and then we'll just color it pink. So it looks like this. Um, it feels a bit empty though. I'm gonna grab some paper. There we go. I like this green. You know what? I think this green is kind of growing on me. So I'm also gonna place a carpet right here. I'm probably gonna resize it a bit because that's, yeah. Um, I guess to like there, that should be good. And then we can recolor it. I'm thinking seashell and then we can outline it in green. We can even place like a table. It's like rustic end table if we wanted to. Then recolor it like linen. And then we can just place a book and there's gonna be another flower just growing from the book completely normal. Hey, I kind of like this room. Pretty simplistic, but it looks kind of cool. So I'm going to grab a planter and I'm going to place it in the corner and I'm going to place some like sunflowers over here and some other plants just so we get more flowers in here. Like this house has to be filled with plants and flowers. So I'm grabbing more tulips. I guess I'll grab some grass and I suppose some daisies. I didn't place any daisies outside. Mushroom. I'm going to see if I can place a plant over here as well and I'll just recolor it. Hey, I think it's looking pretty nice. Oh wait, I just had an idea. Okay. What if we went to storage and then we grabbed a shelf and we placed it above the TV. We recolored it, linen again, and then we placed some more flowers up here. <laughs> I'm really enjoying building this house because I just love building like spring and summer homes with a lot of flowers and everything. It's just so much fun. Can we resize this? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. It's a little baby like sunflower. I'm going to place that there. I love that. And then I'm just going to place a plant up here. So I like this living room. Nothing too crazy, not really overcrowded, you know. Okay, I just had an idea. What if we placed this flat crown molding wall trim 
okay? And then we recolored it, grime, and just placed it around. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I think it might be pretty cool. We used the tall, flat baseboard, and then we recolored it. This time we do like seashell, and then we will do like a yellow color in the pink rooms. Yeah, I think we'll do that for now. Living room is pretty good for now. So let's go work on the kitchen right over here. So we're gonna place appliances, and then obviously we're gonna have to place the counters and everything. I'm gonna use a fancy fridge, okay? And then I'm gonna grab some counters. I think I'll just use like the arch counter. So I think we're gonna color the counters buttermilk and then we're gonna use some grime and with the smooth plastic and then we're gonna color the handles pink. So I know it kind of looks weird right now, but trust the process. I think it's gonna turn out pretty nice. Place the counters around. We're gonna have to fix this a bit because we're on like a weird kind of angle. Oh gosh, this looks kind of bad. Uh, just try to like move it around basically like this. See, it looks better. Okay, we just gotta make it more so like on an angle. Okay, there we go. I fixed that. It looks a lot better now. Place a kitchen. I mean a sink. You guys want a sink? Oh, wait, that fits perfectly. And then we're gonna place this right here. Look at that, guys. That worked out so well. You guys are doing great, by the way. If you're rebuilding this, you are doing an awesome job. Kitchen is not terrible. Like, I'm not hating it. So <laughs> this is this is good. This is kind of good. I'm liking this build a lot. Yeah, we're gonna be using the arched cabinets. So just place those accordingly. And then we're gonna recolor them to match with our countertops. We can color them grime and then we can do like yellow handles instead. So place the rest around because we're gonna need those to place like the microwave over here and stuff like that. Over here, I guess I'll just place another short cabinet. We have to recolor this sink. So we're gonna use linen again, yellow. Yeah, and then we can use some seashell and grime. The stove, I guess we could go with like a white and then we could just use like linen and then maybe give it like, yeah, texture so it doesn't look boring. Same thing with the fridge. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a yellow over here. I'm gonna color the side of the fridge yellow. So we're gonna place a carpet over here as well. Pink. And then we can place one in front of the fridge. And then we can place like a plant over here and place it in this corner. We're going to need a little like dining area, which is gonna be right in this corner. So I wanna use this outdoor table, a few chairs around. So we'll use the log stool and then recolor. So I guess linen, our pink, our yellow. So what if we use this like heart carpet and then we just recolor it? Because it kind of looks like a flower petal if you think about it. We could recolor it like sea shell and grime now we do need some more light so i think i'm gonna grab this candle over here and place it right on this table oh we also have to color the table color it once again linen okay so now i'm gonna place some windows so i'm gonna use the factory windows and i think i'm gonna place two behind the stove so i'm gonna recolor it white and then i'm gonna give it like a yellow hue so copy one and then we're gonna place it right behind the stove so it looks like this we can place another one on this side because i want it to feel very open like usually in the spring and the summer you have your windows open. So that's kind of what I want to go with. The cabinets are going to have to move up just a bit. So now we're just gonna place our appliances. So place any appliance that you'd like. I'm just gonna do the basics, like the microwave, the coffee maker, stuff like that. But feel free to place whatever appliances you'd like. Oh, also a toaster. And then once again, I'm gonna grab some more plants <laughs> that are just once again gonna be growing from the counters. We can also place some utensils if you'd like. And even some spice jars add extra detail. We could add some vines around this build. So I think I'll go with like some sage green and some grime. Then maybe one like right over here behind the fridge. Should be pretty good with all of that. I am gonna place a trash can in this corner. And I think I am gonna grab a painting because this wall does look kind of plain. So I think that would look nicer. And I might just place these lights under the painting. And then again, I'm gonna grab our wall trim and just place it around these walls. The bottom wall trim, I'm gonna recolor to yellow. We're alternating. Wouldn't these vines right here look so cool? Should I leave these? I wanna leave them for now. So yeah, we're pretty good with this kitchen. I might just grab one more light because it's dark in here. I think I'm gonna color it linen and that should be good. So this is how it's looking so far. Okay, so let's go work on the first bathroom, which is gonna be right over here. So we're gonna grab traditional tile shower and we'll place it over here in the corner like this. Does that look kind of weird? Um, cause I can place plants over here. Now we're gonna grab a toilet and we'll just place it like right over here. We can just place a sink right here. Yeah, we could just place a sink in this corner and then just grab like a sunflower and place it 
right over here to kind of cover this up. I think I'll also place one of these windows behind this sink and then I'll grab a towel and I'm actually gonna grab this towel and place it under here because I actually forgot to do that. So yeah, so we're kind of alternating colors as you can tell, like in the pink rooms, we're using some more yellows and then in the yellow rooms, we're using like more pinks. And then we also have to remember our wall trim. So pink wall trim once again for the bottom part. And then we can recolor the shower. I'm gonna grab another carpet, place it down here. And I think we're gonna use our vines again, like on this wall and maybe this one as well. I'll place a plant over in this corner. Yeah, that should be pretty good. We're not gonna overdo it. So it's not too cluttered. All done. We're gonna go to the last one over here. So this build has two bathrooms and then it's gonna have two bedrooms, which will be in the front as you could probably figure her out. So I think over here, I'm going to place a bathtub instead. And I'll also grab a fence, this plain quarter fence, and then recolor it just so that it's privacy. I don't know. And then I'll place the sink like over here and the toilet over there. So I think I'm going to place a window here or maybe over here or how about both? So now I'm going to place a sink over here and I'm gonna color the counters pink and then grime. And then I'm just gonna copy the rest of the bathroom items from the other bathroom and then just place them where they have to be and then we'll fill in these empty spaces with some plants again and flowers like sunflowers and then grab your wall trim again baseboard wall trim color is going to be pink because this is the yellow room and i'm gonna steal a carpet again <laughs> from this room and then just place it where this bathtub is and i think we need more plants in here so i will be placing some more like tulips and stuff growing from the bathtub once again completely normal this probably not a good sign honestly if like mushrooms are growing from your bathtub i feel like that's something to be concerned of but not in blocksburg in blocksburg that's fine because this is a spring house so so it's completely normal in Bloxburg. So I'm just gonna be grabbing a few more towels and probably a mirror over here, like this horizontal mirror. And then I'm just gonna resize it a bit like that. And then I'm gonna grab our heart lights and place them right here. Then I'm gonna grab our soap and our other towels. And then once again, some more plants. These windows might need some curtains. So I'm thinking seashell. We'll just place down another plant and that should be it for this bathroom. Nothing too crazy. Now we're down to our final two rooms, so the two bedrooms. This should be fun. So I'm gonna actually copy a window because I know where I'm going to be placing some around. I'm gonna use this modern single bed to start. I think I will place it right here. And then I wanna place a window right behind it. And I'm gonna color the bed yellow like that. And then I'm gonna grab a dresser. I'll use this modern dresser and I'll place it right over here. And then I wanna place the window right there as well. We also need our wall trim, so go grab those. The baseboard is going to be our yellow that we used in the kitchen. So just copy that and place it around. I think I'm gonna make the curtains grime. And and some more vines and then i'm gonna grab some books from our bookshelf and i'm gonna place those on the dresser for some decoration as well as some of our plants of course and i'm gonna need some light over here so i think i want to grab a lamp like this one's pretty cool i'm gonna color it yellow once again and now i'm just gonna place some plants and flowers everywhere i will place a table over here though rustic table and then i'll grab some paper and then i'm gonna go over to the kitchen and grab this painting and i'm gonna place two and then over here i think i'll place like a stool that you could like sit down on if you i don't know why you would need this but <laughs> i don't know Actually, I think we can place a table over here. So this could be like a desk kind of thing. Like we could grab this hairpin table and then kind of combine them to make like one desk like that. Then the stool could go right here. You know, a bit crammed, but it's okay. So I'm just placing some books down for decoration and another plant. So now I think we're pretty good with this bedroom. Let's go to our final bedroom. We're almost done and then we get to tour. I think this time I wanna place three windows and I think I'll place the bed over here. So I'll use the industrial single bed and I'll recolor it yellow with pink and grime. So now I'm gonna place a painting over here and we also need our wall trim. So do the exact same wall trim as we did in this. So this time I'm gonna use the industrial end table and I'll place it right here in this corner 
and then recolor and then i'll place some books on it and i think we're going to steal the lamp from the other bedroom and place it over here as well and we can place this industrial dresser right in this corner and then place your plants and flowers and whatever other decorations you like to use on the dresser now i'll grab our vines again and then of course some more plants like these sunflowers love them and then i'll probably just place another window over here see i like this really open feel you know one more plant in this corner Corner. And then I'm gonna grab a carpet from the kitchen and I'll just place it under the bed and that should be good for this bedroom But I do think I might go back into this bedroom and look at these windows out here. You see how <laughs> it looks yeah, it's not the same. So I don't know, that kind of bothers me. So I'm wondering if I should just delete these paintings and then just place two windows here instead. And then I'll place a painting above the dresser instead of the window. That looks a lot better, you know? So I think I'm gonna do that instead. So with that, we have finished this flower home. Look at it, it looks so cool from an aerial view. And here's the layout with all the furniture. It looks so cool. I really like all the colors, so Let's not wait any longer and let's go check out the tour. So the total value of the house is $50,000, which actually isn't too bad. So here's our house right here from an aerial view. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. So here's the first bedroom and then here's the other bedroom. We got our like leaf thing <laughs> and then we have the walkway. I actually really like this. I think that's super cool. It's like, you know, the stem of the flower <laughs> so i think that's pretty cool and then of course just a few flowers and bushes whatever just some extra detail nothing too crazy so now here is our living room i think this is actually a really cool living room if i'm gonna be honest um yeah i just really like the plants and the colors so this house is definitely one of my favorites i really like this green too i think it's really nice so let's go check out the bedrooms first so this is our first bedroom very nice love the sunflowers love the colors and here's a painting i remember to change the image this time here's our mini little desk and yeah the windows i think the windows are pretty cool so our next bedroom is over here once again i got a new painting i remembered so we have the vines and then we have all of the windows very open love it so very cool okay and now let's go check out this bathroom over here so i love the pink and the green together i think that's a really really cool combo so we got the counters and then we got the bathtub little mushroom and tulip little window maybe you want to shut that if you're going to take a bath just a thought and then we have our cool little mirror so that's really it and now our second bathroom over here we have our vines again and then we have our little sink very tiny but it's cool and then we have our shower so have that with the sunflower of course and yeah that's pretty much it so here is our kitchen with our dining table i think this is a cool little kitchen and once again the green with the yellow and the pink walls i think that looks super cool and i did add another painting over here i love this painting i think it's super cool so i think it matches with the colors that we've been using in this build and yeah that's pretty much it so i like these windows a lot with this house as well i think they just give a really nice like spring feel yeah that's pretty much it with this house i actually really like it and i hope you guys do as well so please comment and let me know how you think i did if you're gonna rebuild it let me know thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i hope you have an awesome rest of your day so i will see you in my next video bye guys